This is an ABC News special report. Now reporting, David Muir. Good afternoon. We're coming on the air because we have been witnessing here something extraordinary from Capitol Hill, an historic and much more complicated changing of the guard in the U.S. House of Representatives. More complicated than most Republicans wanted on this first day of the 118th Congress. More complicated, certainly, than Kevin McCarthy wanted today as Republicans now assume control of the House from the Democrats. The results of this first round of this high-stakes vote for a new speaker have now come in. Republican leader Kevin McCarthy had hoped to take the gavel immediately after the first ballot. That will not happen. The voting will continue this afternoon. He faces an uphill battle within his own party, a select few against him, but enough of them to keep him from getting the votes he needed, at least in this first round of voting, this first ballot. Leader McCarthy had spent the morning behind closed doors trying to secure the 218 votes needed to become the next speaker and to avoid having to go to another round, another ballot, which he was not able to do a short time ago. And we should point out that in not doing so, he has made history. The last time the vote for speaker had to go past the first ballot was some 100 years ago. McCarthy, who already moved into the speaker's office, rejecting some of the latest demands from some hardline conservative members of the Freedom Caucus, he did make some major concessions, hoping to sway his critics, including making it easier to remove him from the position if he's elected. Republicans have a razor-thin majority in the House. McCarthy could only afford to lose some four votes from his party. Uh, he lost far more than that by the end of the first ballot. And in fact, Akeem Jeffries, the Democrat, uh, the leader for the Democrats in the House, actually surpassing McCarthy. That also uh, makes history. It's the first time the party not in power in the House actually leads at the end of a ballot for the Speaker of the House. Of course, that's just the first. You need to get a majority in the House in order to be named Speaker. And so they will continue to do multiple rounds of voting until there is a Speaker. It's believed that will be Kevin McCarthy. But again, we're watching history unfold. Let's get right to Rachel Scott, who covers Congress on the Hill. Rachel, you spoke with McCarthy just before he entered that chamber today, and he indicated to you that no matter how many rounds this takes, he'll see this through. David, Republican leader Kevin McCarthy is defiant. I caught up with him just moments before he walked onto the House floor, and he told me that he was willing to battle this out for as long as it takes. He met privately behind closed doors with Republican members of Congress earlier today, and he gave a very impassioned, fiery speech telling them that he is not going anywhere. But that appears to have done more harm than good because conservatives leaving saying that they were sweared at instead of being sworn in today on this very first day of the new Congress. We were expecting at least five Republicans to not support McCarthy. That number has grown to 19. And of course, this essentially paralyzes the House. They cannot move forward until they have a speaker. Rather extraordinary, Rachel. Let's get right to John Carl, our chief Washington correspondent. John, you have interviewed Kevin McCarthy often. Uh, tell us what's going through his mind, if you could guess at this point. And are Republicans not concerned about the optics of this, given the fact that they're making history, but history they didn't want to make today? I mean, the optics for Republicans is terrible. They've taken control. They've won control of the House by a narrow majority. The first ha act of this uh, first House of this uh, Republican House, more votes went to the liberal Democrat uh, candidate for speaker than went for Kevin McCarthy. Think about that, David. Hakeem Jeffries got more votes than Kevin McCarthy for speaker in this round. Uh, this is something uh, Kevin McCarthy has fought for. He was just steps away from being speaker uh, years ago and lost out, had to give away uh, to Paul Ryan. Now it's happening again. John Carl, Rachel Scott will continue to monitor us on the Hill. As soon as we do have a new speaker of the House, we'll come back on the air. For many of you, the tribute to Barbara Walters on The View continues in a moment. This has been a special report from ABC News. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.